So your college is about to reopen and you're thinking what phone should I get? And throughout school most of the people they don't really use a smartphone as much but then once you go to college smartphone becomes the most important thing which is most valuable to you right i mean the whatsapp messages social media playing games assignments and doing photography video editing a lot of things can be done with a very very powerful phone and how much should you actually spend on a phone especially if you're getting to college if in your first year or second year and if you want to look cool and if you want something affordable what are the best phone that you can get in the most affordable price that's what we're talking about here in this video today if you're new here my name is hari i'm a recent graduate from bits planning so let's get started in the video first let's talk about the most affordable segment of phone it's under 15000 rupees and to be honest college mein log kya hi karte hain yaar maximum roll reels scroll kar lete hain ya whatsapp mein text message bhejte hain ya call kar lete hain and uske alawa the number of people who are doing anything productive with their phones are actually very very less एंड वो लोगों के लिए मेरे पास दो फोन है दो अच्छे फोन में ढूंढ के रखा है वो है Redmi 13 5G and the other one is Realme Narzo and I really like the features a lot and these are very very suited for people who are just getting into college in the first year or second year and they're just exploring something right and to be honest whenever you're getting a phone just keep these three these two features in mind look at the chipset that they have Is it a MediaTek or is it a Tensor or is it a Qualcomm Snapdragon that they have? And look at the camera that they have. If it's something around a uh, more than 50 megapixel in the back camera, it's pretty good. At the same time, look for great storage as well because whenever you take a lot of pictures or a lot of videos, your storage and the media consumption really grows a lot. And especially if you're forwarding assignments, if you're forwarding a lot of things, then your storage ka wo kafi kam ho jata hai matlab phone mein. So keep these things in mind, and if two phone it really satisfies both of them because as a one, a they have 8 GB RAM and at the same time they have 128 GB of storage as well. So 15,000 ki under these are pretty great phones, especially given that there's a good sale going on on Amazon. So do take advantage of it. And to, in my first year, I was using this phone, this Redmi Note 10T. And to be honest, मेरे को लगा कि भाई फोन में दिस आर नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी फैक्टर विद इट बी वीडियो एडिटिंग यू बी यूजिंग इन अ लैपटॉप एंड द ओनली थिंग व्हिच आई फाउंड यूजफुल दैट आई वाज डूइंग इन माय फोन केम इन माय थर्ड ईयर एंड फोर्थ ईयर व्हेन आई वाज क्रिएटिंग कंटेंट आई मीन नॉट इवन माय थर्ड ईयर स्पेशली माय फोर्थ ईयर ओनली आई स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग कंटेंट ऑन YouTube एंड उस टाइम में मेरे को लगा कि भाई आई नीड टू अपग्रेड माय फोन बिकॉज़ इसका कैमरा उतना अच्छा नहीं है एंड पीपल स्टार्टेड कमेंटिंग ऑन माय YouTube सेइंग दैट यू नो यू नीड टू इंप्रूव योर कैमरा Why don't you improve your gear as well, so that like people who are watching it, they get a little bit more clarity on what you're saying, and peop and you also get benefited out of it by getting some more views and getting more traction towards your view videos as well. And that's when I upgraded to my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the one which is that I'm recording my video with right now, right? And if you are someone who's planning on doing something like content creation, if you're someone who's planning on getting into Instagram or YouTube or any other things like that. Try to go for a phone which has a really, really great camera. And having done thorough research on great cameras, I think it's important that you consider these two brands: the flagship of Samsung, the flagship of iPhones, because if you're able to record videos in 60 FPS, and if you're able to record videos in 8K or 4K, it really brings out the video in a much, much better format. So I felt that there are really three really good phones that are good for content creation, which is the Samsung Galaxy S22, S23, S24 Ultra series, and of course the Samsung iPhone 15 and 15. It doesn't matter if you're going for a 15 Pro or Pro Max. Even having an iPhone, it really brings out the camera quality to a next level. And at the same time, try to look at the Google Pixel phones as well. I felt that the photos in Google Pixel were great, but then the videos were not as much as up to the mark that you would imagine. and if you're looking at being a content creator in college i think i would definitely recommend you to do it because you will have a lot of free time in college to explore a lot of things there would be video editing take shooting photos or like creating content and by doing these things you get a higher rate of return over the four years and at the same time you'll be able to document your journey of your college as well i think that is a mistake that i made not starting in my first year i wish that i had videos recorded of all the things that i made first year so that when i graduated i thought like okay what this this seems like a fun collage to like put it in together and you know just to like reminisce the moments right and another important thing to understand is that many of the students many of the people they really get into gaming a lot and if you are getting into gaming make sure to get a phone which is has a very great cooling system and at the same time they have a great display and you need to have a great ram and you need to have a great processor 
and you need to have these four things if you want to do gaming up to a really really good extent and two phones make for kaafi acha laga for gaming was the iQOO 12 and the OnePlus 12 and regarding the OnePlus 12 they have a great cooling system and if you if you are a heavy gamer you can game up to like close to 3 hours and this they have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and even the camera is great and they have great software updates as well like they have the Oxygen OS where they give regular soft, software updates and iQOO is also a very new brand i think a lot of people they liking it a lot and even they have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and a lot of other cool features which are required for gaming and those are both both of them are close to the 50000 range so if you think that gaming is a necessity for you and if you want to make an investment in the gaming i think getting any of these two phones will really make a difference in your mobile selection i hope this video made a difference to you let's do a quick recap of all the things that we discussed here if you are someone who is just using your phone for just casual stuff let's say like scrolling reels whatsapp messaging calling people then just go for a phone which costs you less than 15000 rupees it doesn't make a big difference in whatsoever if you're someone who's planning on creating content if you're into video editing if you're into creating great videos photography getting something like an iphone or getting a high end samsung phone will really make a difference look at the samsung ultra series look at the iphone 15 pro max 15 14 pro max if you're not able to afford the iphone 15 series look at the iphone 11 12 series as well because they've not really made a lot of improvements in a lot of things to be honest and they've added the portrait mode and they've added the cinematic mode in the iphone 14 series and 15 series but that's that's the only probable difference apart from that and they made c type for iphone that's not even a feature that's a bug i mean that's a bug that they had to fix a long time back they fix it now and if you're into gaming check out the iqoo 12 series and check out the oneplus 12 as well because they have great features and then they are reasonably priced as compared to the samsung s22 series s23 s24 ultra series and reasonably priced compared to the iphone series as well so do look into them and do choose whatever is the best phone for you because ultimately whatever phone you get that is going to be a medium for your communication you're going to spend a lot of time with your phone than with most of your friends or peers or parents or whatever it is so having a good smooth phone whatever it will be a great addition to your life and make your life smoother in a lot of ways i hope you like this video if you like if you here um, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye